Petco takes returns? Hey, it's Scotty, and this is kind of an interesting, weird story, which has some moving parts, so bear with me. I got a message today from someone who lives near me locally, and they were referred by one of my rescue colleagues out here. And long story short, they purchased a guinea pig from Petco a few months ago, and then like a lot of people do, they realized that they need a friend. So they actually found someone who was trying to rehome their guinea pigs locally, and they got one. Now this guinea pig was living with a large group of males outside, and today it's uh, only 105 degrees, but it can get up uh, well above 110 degrees, and all these guinea pigs were living outside in some kind of a large rabbit hutch type enclosure. So their concern was that the new boy seemed upset and missed his family. And so they didn't know if they should take him back. And I was trying to, I was like, please don't send that guinea pig back, especially if that guinea pig's living in a large group of boys, eventually they're going to fight. Now this family that was trying to rehome the guinea pigs said that they don't really pick them up that often. So there's a pretty good chance that, that all these boys are actually fighting frequently, have scabs on their backs and, and have chunks of their ears a bit out. Um, and they're just not noticing it because they've got them living outside and they don't pay too much attention to them and they're trying to rehome them. And in fact, they're living in a dirt bottom enclosure that they want to start planting things in. It's it's a mess, it's a disaster. The good news is that the person who reached out to me with the pair of boys, I was able to convince them, or I urged that if they had a way of getting them, to get them, and all of us together are gonna try to find good homes for them. So there is four boys and one girl living together. Well, sorry, the girl is, is separate, so uh, we're really hoping that she's not pregnant. Um, but there's four boys, used to be five, and one girl all living outside at this family's home. I've convinced them to take them all. I'm going to set them up with cages so that they can all stay safe. And I've urged, I've urged her to keep the two boys that she now has together together, keep that other group together until we can assess the situation. And I don't hold up hope that they would stay together long term, although apparently they're about four years old, so it's possible. But I won't really know until I assess them, give them health checks, check them over for scabs and bites and stuff. But as we do know from the NorCal situation that oftentimes boys living in less than ideal situation can can get along um, and they've just gotten used to being together through the trauma and the situations that they're in. They are outside all year round in the freezing cold with a heater, which in my experience, when guinea pigs are huddled under a heater, they tend to pee and poop in one spot and not move because they'll get cold. That can cause bumblefoot and other issues. So that's a whole other story, but we're trying to get them out but anyways, the long story, what led me to figure out that Petco takes returns is that I, they're going to go pick up these piggies that are living outside today, tonight. And they're going to come over here and I'm going to give them some of my extra cages that I have to set them up. And I said, I sent them a link to my free care guide and I said, you know, if you read through the care guide, you know, that will get you up to speed on what we recommend. And she said, oh, I have, and I was pretty much doing everything right except for hay. I wasn't giving them any hay. Now, she's had this guinea pig for two months from Petco and didn't really know to give them hay. You know, because why would you need to give guinea pigs hay when there's a bag called guinea pig food right at the store? why that's what they need is guinea pig food. And when you go to Petco and you look in the 
enclosures like we just did a few weeks ago and you see that there's no hay in there or barely enough hay and if you don't realize the guinea pigs eat hay and you just see a couple pieces then you, it doesn't register that they need a big pile of hay. So I called <laughs> the Petco, of course I did, and I explained the situation and that they don't get enough hay. And of course, the I talked to the manager and he assured me, well, we give them hay three times a day, multiple times a day. Anytime we go by the enclosure and we see there's no hay, we put some in. They're only allowed to put it in the bowl. And they said, if we, if we just put a big pile of hay in, it will get moldy. Now that has to do with cleaning the cage and husbandry and I don't believe that if you put a big pile of hay and you're cleaning the cage out a couple times a week, that it's going to get moldy. But that's how they do it. And, you know, at a certain point, you can only agree to disagree because they just say the same corporate talking point over and over. You know, if you want to just stop selling animals, then we would view Petco in a much better light. And then the guy got very defensive and he said, well, we take in animals, we surrender, the people surrender animals to us, to us and we take them in. And he said, we've got like six guinea pigs in the back now that were surrendered. And so, and I was saying, well, you know, people can't even return their guinea pigs after 30 days or whatever. And he said, at our store, and he said, that's not true. And it's supposed to be corporate wide that you'll get a full refund if you return them within 30 days. And after 30 days, they are supposed to be able to be relinquished is the word that he used. And he's saying that, oh, different stores may read the rules differently. You know, what's the point of having rules if you're reading them differently? But he said that Petco is supposed to take in your guinea pigs if you bought them from there that you should be able to relinquish them. Now, the fact is people all the time surrender their guinea pigs to us uh, and or shelters. A lot of times when we're full, they feel like they have nowhere to put them, nowhere to take them. And I guess it's because people don't know that Petco is supposed, you're supposed to be able to relinquish them to Petco. So I'd love to ask you to do me a quick favor. Call your local Petco and ask them if they will take relinquished guinea pigs or other animals for that matter and let us know in the comments because it seems to be that this is not the case now the guy was i sympathize with the people who work at these pet stores especially a big corporate chain like petco you know they're not getting paid that much they are stuck in this corporate structure they're being told what to do and, you know, they're taking it from all sides and, and, and I sympathize, but I also sympathize with the animals, with the people who are being misled about the proper care, about this, this trim, like it's, it's, it's like an epidemic of poor care of of just this this constant chain reaction of 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 poor practices you know and you can only have an argument with somebody who insists they're doing everything right even though they're doing everything wrong you can only have this circular conversation for so long, you know, and, and then of course, you know, you're on the phone, you're talking with, with these people and of course customers are piling up and they, because they don't know what they don't know and because they've been told what to do by corporate, by either the manager before them or some corporate representative, it's a combination of they can only do what they have to they have to do what they have to do in order to keep their job and they only know what they know based on what they've been taught and so it's this downward spiral of poor practices but I really want to know the main purpose of this 
video is about relinquishment at Petco because we could go on and on and talk about their poor practices and how they falsely represent quality guinea pig care or care of other animals and how uh, the, the pet store trade, the getting animals from breeders hurts all of these homeless animals of which there are thousands and thousands across the country. But we have and we will continue to give voice to that point of view. But today, and in the comments, I'd love to know, does your local Petco accept relinquishments? Within 30 days, you're supposed to be able to return your animals. But if six months or a year you decide guinea pigs aren't right for you, can you relinquish them back to your Petco? Or if two years down the road, three years down the road, you are in an emergency situation where you have to rehome them, can you relinquish them to your local Petco? So I'd love to hear, you, you, if you want, you can say uh, what city your local Petco is, or for anonymity, you don't have to. Um, but I'd love to hear. Give, give your local Petco a call and let me know. Also, if there's a PetSmart or some other pet store, let me know what their practices are. I'd really love to know in the comments. I think this is a real opportunity for us to learn and a resource for all of us maybe uh, we will realize that there is another solution than just filling all the shelters or, you know, people waiting and waiting and waiting to get into some rescue that's already overwhelmed. So this, if this is true, this may be another option for these emergency surrenders, which we're just seeing so many of. All right. Until next time. Thanks for watching.